All right, here we go. Give a little steam there. On many of Disneyland's attractions, it takes just a push of a button to make them go, but not on Disneyland's railroad. My job is to keep the train moving. The Disneyland Railroad has a conductor, but to really keep things running smoothly, it takes a fireman and an engineer. There is a certain art form uh, that's the whole uh, to operate a locomotive. You want to operate the locomotive as, as smooth as possible. If I pull it too hard, the cars behind me will start banging against each other and people you know, won't, won't enjoy it as much. The engineer has to keep the train at the right speed all around the Magic Kingdom. This right here is our speed right here. It's uh, 12 feet per second. We don't go by miles per hour, feet per second. Here is our longest stretch of uh, our track. We take it about 15 feet per second as you see up there. They go slower in the dioramas. Here the speed limit is about five and a half feet per second. We have sound inside the cars. The sound's got to match up to our speed. Besides making the train go, the engineer constantly watches the track for anything in its path. One of the weirdest things I've seen coming into New Orleans is a family of ducks. We almost come to a stop. We would never want to hurt any type of animal as we go around. And they also have to be wary of other trains and more. Our trains here run on a block system. You can see the lights right here. As long as I got a green light, we're good. If I have a yellow light, then I can't leave out of that block zone. All right, we're gonna give them a little whistle here. Great uh, crossing whistle. Too long, short and width uh, long. <laughs> The train ride around Disneyland is not always flat and level. This is a great right here. You can kind of see it's kind of slowing down. Even though I pulled on the throttle a little bit, give it a little more steam. When they get to a station, they don't just press the stop button. Sometimes we got a lot of stuff that's going on, shutting off. So I'm waving at the guests, keeping a safe, di uh, safe speed coming in here. I want to line, so, uh, most time I want to line up with the water tower. Now down below, you'll see our numbers. And that pretty much tells us where to stop of each train. Helping the engineer to keep the train running smoothly is the fireman. Basically, this works like a big tea kettle. My job is to keep the pressure at about 150 pounds per square inch. I'm always adjusting things according to the pressure. Always watching the fire to see the color and how hot it is. Uh, that's one of the main things to keep in uh, pressure. There's a reason the fireman constantly watches everything. Safety over here is, is number one, uh, especially with the firemen. This is the water valve right here, and this is the steam valve, and this is called the injector. And what happens right here is the water comes in through here, steam comes down through here, and it forces water down the pipe down there and into the boiler. If there is no water, there is no steam. You can't make steam without uh, that would be bad. That'd be bad. Go kaboom. The fireman has another job too. Now I'm going to ring the bell here. Let everybody know we're coming into the station. And they have another very important job. Get some people coming in, and we're going to wave to them. They do whatever it takes to keep Disneyland steam trains running every day. Every day for us is a fun day. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.